Thank you for the meow. Yes. <laughs> this is yay math. Finally, we can say yay math. We're doing the distance formula today. All right, distance formula is the distance between two xy points. So let's do a couple xy points. Five, negative one. This is one xy point. Please write it down. And I remember this. You remember this? That's good. Does anyone know distance formula? Raise hand. One. Two, okay, three, all right, no problem. All right, so maybe some people are not telling the truth, but that's okay too? No, just kidding. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ha ha. recording. Yes, we are recording. Isn't it great? Oh, yeah. I don't see the red. Yeah, anyway, these are two points. What is the distance between these two points? Now, we could graph it and do all kinds of different ways to graph them and find the distance between, but there's a formula to find the distance between. The formula goes like this. D equals, D stands for distance. All right, let me get it up, let me get it. A long square root sign. Okay. X2 minus X1 squared. I'll explain what these are in a minute. X2 minus X1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Let's explain what these are. What are they? Um, basically what you're doing, you're taking one uh, set of x and y's and one set of like the 5 and the 11 you get, and basically combining them so you could get the x and y formula. Right, right. We're getting the difference of the x's. Yeah. The difference of the x's. So when they say x2 and x1, they basically mean this is x2, right here, 11, yeah. and this is x1. We can call it here. This is x1, y1. In other words, this point, 5, negative 1, is our first xy point. If it's our first xy point, it's x1, y1. If this is our second xy point, what do you think this is called? X2, y2. X2, y2. Say it loud. I want to hear. X2 and y2. Lovely. So the little numbers <laughs> on the bottom are just different. Different. Yeah. Differentiate. Right on. They're called subscript. Got it. X2, y2. So we're differentiating between our first xy and our second xy. And now we plug in and we're done. Yes. Is it always negative in between? Yes. Always minus in between. And unless, this, unless it's a negative number. Always plus. plus. Yeah, it'll turn into plus. You'll see. Yeah. Okay, here we go. D equals long square root. Five. Who can yeah. plug it in? D equals 11. Yeah. 11. And then... Oh, the two always go first? Boop. Minus 5. Any objections? Yeah, minus 5. 11 is x2. Yeah. Minus 5 is x1. Very cool. Minus, not positive. Right oh, oh, okay. Good, good Why question. Why is it x2? Never mind, never mind. I'm not going to ask that question. Ask, it's fine. X, why, why would you put x2 instead of y, x1? Is it just because... It doesn't it's matter, and that's a fine question. It doesn't matter, by the way, which... One you choose is x2, y2, or y, x2. As long as you have a minus and it's squared. Right on. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. This could have been x2, y2. This could have been x1, y1. As long as you don't put the x. <laughs> is it as long as you don't <laughs> no, I'm talking straight to her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Plus. What if you put the y and the x? No. That's no. When you can't do y and x together. Right. Can't do y and x together. You have to do the x's together. Now y's together. What is y2 minus y1, please? Oh, okay. Um, Y2. 7. 7. Good. Minus. Minus. Minus negative 1. So it would be plus 1. So Wait, it would be plus that 1. That ends up oh. being plus because the negative minus the negative. Well, I'm standing in the way. 7 is x2, or excuse me, y2. y2 minus. Y1 is negative 1, so it's minus negative 1. This will be plus, yes. Uh, then can you just put a 
class? It will be, yes. I just want you to see double negative first. Yes. Uh, do you always have to put, do you always have to make it uh, yeah. D, equal, D equals? Yes, distance equals. Yeah. Okay. This is great. There's, no, there's not going to be any other variable involved? No, distance formula is one formula for D, for right. the distance. All right, so let's just, you know, yeah, kind of square and some set them. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is 11 minus 5 squared? You! Okay, 11 minus 5. I'll name five. her you. <laughs> <laughs> 11 minus 5 yeah. squared, so um, you make two sets of parentheses. No, not no. necessarily. That's four. Like, what's 11 minus 5? Six. Oh, 6. 6 squared? Squared is... is 36. 36. Thank you, you. Thank Everyone you, here. Yeah. Yeah. We have a bunch of yous. A crib full of yous. <laughs> well, a nursery. A crib full of yous like babies on top of babies. <laughs> like, oh! Hi, you. Okay. Well, there's some random person yeah. saw this video and I'll think you're crazy. I know. Don't tell people. I is. <laughs> <laughs> like a random mountain of babies, like one falls off. Of yeah, mountain of babies. And that's is why you're special. <laughs> and then the Thirty-six. Boy guy, and then the soldier boy guy goes, "You." <laughs> I hate that song. Please don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that song too, but it's just fun. Plus, someone else to do this. Seven plus one. Yes. Oh, I get it. And yes. Okay. Yeah. Eight squared is sixty-four. Eight squared. This is eight squared is sixty-four. Yes. <laughs> Let's finish it out. Thirty-six. Plus 64. 100. 100. Good. D equals the is 10. The square root of 100 is in fact 10. White. 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 So, in other words, the distance between these two points is 10. So you don't necessarily need to graph. There's a formula for it. You can do it with graphing too. All right. You have, are we gonna have to know how to do with graphing in chapter nine? Uh, no. 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 I'm just gonna. All I'm asking is this. So I speed up the uh, erasing. So I'm gonna go uh. super fast. Check this out. <laughs> Special effects. <laughs> Next point. Two two. Soft two. Write it. Yes. Um, when, like in the beginning, can you just write like 10-5, like right when the video starts so we know which... No! No? <laughs> it's 10-5. I know. Okay. Does it say 5G? 5 comma. What's 16 times 7? Comma! Okay. What does that comma have ahead in the first one? Yeah. What? Looks like a 9. Alright, um, ready to plug into... What is the formula? Who knows it? Yes, please. X2 minus X1. The square root of. Square root. Yeah, I was going to say that every time. Write the formula every time. Yes, good question. Memorize. Right. Parenthesis 5, X2 minus X1. Square root. And plus uh, parentheses 1, X2 minus Y1 squared. All right, good. That's the formula. And now, let's demonstrate that it doesn't matter which X2 we use or x1 we use, we can pick either one. So, we, would you like to do 5 minus 2? Would you like to do 2 minus 5? 2 minus 5. five. five. No, five, 5 minus 2, so it's better. 5 minus 2 sounds good. You keep it positive. Negative 1 uh, minus 2. Positive. Positive. So, we chose to do 5 minus 2 plus negative 1 minus 2, correct? Yes. Squared. Any questions? Did I say questions? No, sorry. Oh, I said questions. Okay, sorry. History. Um, okay, yeah, could you get off the elephant and join us at the class? Thanks. We have an elephant in class, by the way. Okay, what's 5 minus 2 squared? Yes? 9. 3 squared is 9. Oh, yeah. I'm very confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Five minus two. <laughs> it's good. I'm glad you're asking. I'm gonna try to do that. Wait, is that three? Three. Three squared. Uh, so can you do this yeah. one? Can you do this one? Negative one. So I'm gonna write a plus sign in here. Negative three. Negative three squared. So negative three times negative, negative three. Negative nine. Negative three times negative three. Nine. Nine. 
Is a negative. Oh, po positive, positive so it would be nine. Positive nine. Good. Questions on that? Very cool. This is so cool. Yay, math. <laughs> yeah. Math. Yay, math works sarcastically too. It's like, yay. Uh, math. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with it. It was, on, it was intentional. Nine plus nine is? Eighteen. Eighteen, please. Thank you. Dude, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> You know, you're the only one very much past that. You gotta think about that. Please. I've been trying to do Help that. Help me out. Help me out. Okay. Thanks, thanks for noticing. <laughs> Square root of 18. Dude. Nine. You're gonna have to do um, nine and nine and then all right, yeah. make it. Um, nine times two, right? Then yeah. three, 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 three. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. So, the factors of 18 and which one's a perfect square oh, are nine and two. We heard that. So it's three root two. So the square root of nine is three, and it's three root two. Not Can I see the board, please? Yeah. Thank you. Well. Oh. Okay. Wait, okay. don't erase okay. anything, please. It's not that hard. It's pretty it's soft, too. Yeah, math. Never get old. Never you're confused. You're gonna say yeah. You're gonna like wake up in the middle of the night like, oh, you know. And then go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it in the middle of the final. Dude, say it during the final. Just say it during the final. I love that. That's so good. We're gonna leave each other and be like, one, two, three. Yeah! Okay, good. I'll still do it in the final. There we go. This is a different problem. English. This one's a different style. Ooh, in which. You they have give to... us the Mother. distance. They give us the distance. Me. Clever. And we're looking for a certain point. Whoa. Alright. So this one's a little more challenging. But the setup is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. What was the first thing we did for the previous two problems? What was the first thing we wrote down? Formula. Formula. Very good. So that formula is? Wait, did we, well, did, did we have a d equals whatever? Before? No, we were solving for d before. So now d equals square five. Now one we're minus looking for the five. a. Yeah. So let's write the formula. x1 minus x2. Yeah. Wait. I'm writing the formula, that's all. Doesn't it not matter if I do x1 minus x2? It doesn't matter, yeah. right. It doesn't matter if you do x1 minus x2. x1 minus x2. Okay, here we go. So let's plug in, I'm standing in the way, let's plug in everything that we know here into this formula, starting with the utmost left side. So do we know this? Five. Five. So I'm going to write five equals. How, wait, wait, what are we adding? Five equals. Five equals. Oh, oh so we're placing it with the D? Yes. How do you know where to put the A, though? That's the good question. How do you know where to put the x? Well, that's the x. The x2 minus x1, wouldn't you agree, is a minus 4. Yeah. Okay. Squared. Plus. Not that hard. Yeah, it gets it over time. It's okay. All right. Okay. And then. Minus. What minus what? 7 minus 3. Okay. All right. Good. So, what is a minus 4 squared? Don't say a squared plus 16. Or a... Um, 16a? No? Oh. Yes? Um, a squared minus 4 squared. No. A squared minus... A squared minus 16. Don't forget! Oh! A you minus to, 4 squared! You have to foil. You have to foil. Yeah. Foil. Here it comes. <laughs> 5 equals. Yeah, you want to take this? Okay. Um, What's this? It's a squared. A squared. Plus. And that a times this. Negative four. Oh, minus four a. Minus four a. Good. Keep going. Minus four a. Minus four a again. Plus sixteen. Plus sixteen. Very nice. Plus sixteen. Yeah, <laughs> a minus four plus a minus four squared. So it'll be. And now we have this thing to deal with. Oh. 7 minus 3 is 16. plus another 16. Coincidentally, it's another 16. Questions? Why? Because 4 squared. <laughs> Ooh. 7 minus 3 is 4. So it's squared. 16 uh. out here. Wait, why is it 16? 
Seven oh. minus three is four. Oh, okay. Square okay. is sixteen. Good. It's good. If you ask, it's it's beneficial. Now let's simplify this. Okay. Like terms. Can I do it? Yes. A squared <laughs> minus eight a plus. A squared minus eight a plus plus. Uh, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Very good. Okay. How do we get rid of this radical? Because we can't simplify any. But we can't simplify. Do you remember? The parentheses. No, not. Oh yeah, it's parentheses, kind of, sort of. But what are we really gonna do? Yeah. How do we get rid of this? How do we get rid of that? Get it out of the square root. By doing what? You multiply it by, you square it. Square both sides. Yeah. Right. How is it I was going to say that, but I don't want to. So oh, it's not It looks like one of those yeah. things we not did in, the, in, the, in that chapter 8. Yes. Squaring both sides. So you get 10. No, so I'm going to put it over here. Oh, no, no, no. I mean like that set up, like 8 to the second and 8A. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm going to take this off. All right. Okay, so this is coming up. We're going to do a little backwards. So what's 5 squared? 25. 25 equals, now this without the square root. It's just a squared minus yeah. 8a plus 32. Nice. And then you just get a, a regular formula now. Yeah, now we have no square roots to deal with. Uh -huh. Now what do we do? Um, so yeah, yeah, 32 oh, right. by both sides. So chuck oh. the 32. Not the 32. The, the a. Because you want to isolate. Why the 25? Good question. Why the 25? Because you want to get zero. You want to get, get zero. zero, right. So this is zero equals a squared minus 8a. Well, you want to make it, oh, because you want to factor, you want to make it always equal to zero. Right, because we're going seven. to factor. Good. Nice. Plus seven. <laughs> OK. All right, now, yes, this is a factoring problem. Nah. Remember how to factor? Yeah. 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 Yay, math. Parentheses, parentheses. <laughs> Yay, that, math. Though. How? Right. Factoring time. Yeah. What goes in the front two? Oh, A and A. Double A. So you yeah. do know how to do it. Double A. What goes in the back two? Negative shmone and, and plus shmone. Seven and one. Seven and one. <laughs> Why seven and one? Oh, because that equals eight, yeah. And they're both oh. seven plus one equals eight. Seven negative seven, eight. seven, negative one. Because you want it, oh, okay. Yeah, you, you want to look at the middle this. number. Okay, cool. We'll foil this, you'll get this. Nice. Oh, and then A equals? A equals what and what? Seven and one. Do we also have to see if it works? Like it will one? always work. Both of them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any time when it won't always work? No, in this case, it's just the distance between two points. So the A, our original A, could either be 7 or it could be 1. And so you don't never you have, have to check plug it? it in? In this case, well, check your work is good practice normally. You can plug it in, but it, it will work if you got it right. I'm saying you won't have to throw it away like we've done in the past. There's a lot of steps. To There's a lot of steps. There's a lot of steps, but they're the same every time. You write the formula, you plug in the formula, you just combine and simplify. Okay? Any questions? Nice. All right, thank you. So how do we start the front class? The one, two, three? One, two, three! Yay! Yeah! 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 Woo! You're afraid yeah. people wouldn't say it with you. <laughs> You're like, one, two, three! It was welcome to. Okay, you can cut it. Bye, world. Bye! Bye. Bye.